So we go to the Albert Hall, and they're all right to see, they're pretty good. And as we get to the Albert Hall, we see someone as we're approaching it, who, who knows Jeff. He said, oh, Jeff, do you know Steve's here? Steve Coogan, who he wrote. He's here tonight. He's here with Rob Bryden, who I know. They're doing their Michael Caine before it starts. I thought, oh, great. Oh, terrific. Uh, and he said, what they're going to do is uh, they're going to do their Michael Caine, then he's going to come on. And anyway, so, oh, so in we go. We give our tickets in. We're just on the way, and somebody else stops us. Oh, Jeff, Danny, how are you? He said, what are you here for? You know Steve's here tonight. Would you like a box? So I thought, oh, there's 400 could we're never going to see again. All right. <laughs> All right, um, oh, we got these tickets, uh, where are they? All right, yeah, box. So we led into this box, so we into Albert Hall's, right? I've got another great story about being in a box at Albert Hall, but anyway, so um, it's when I exposed myself, but anyway, so we... Um, <laughs> this one will so do. So <laughs> we go in the curtains, and there's Steve and uh, yeah. Rob and a few other people in the little box. Lovely box at the Albert Hall. Uh, hey, how you doing, boys? And I said, uh, well, Danny, what's happening is, uh, what's they going to... I said, I understand, they're going to do Michael Caine, and then Michael Caine's going to come on and say, I mean, no, Michael's... That's <laughs> there's Michael Caine, right? So, oh, hello, 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 how's it going? So I said, not bad. Um, now, there's, there's only two seats left in the box, and my wife's going, don't make me sit next to Michael Caine. So I said, so now, barely, not even 48 hours from when we first decided to go to the Michael Caine, thing, I'm sitting next to Michael Caine. <laughs> and my wife just says, it happens to you. Then I said, so I'm sitting, there's 10 minutes to curtain up. There you go. So I said, not bad. Not bad. And I, t I, told, I told this story, which basically, and, and there's reasons for it. Uh, I, I, I dropped my trousers in a box because I didn't want to be seen by people in the corridor. I was changing for a television thing, and I'm keeping my eye on the door, and I dropped my trousers. And I thought, well, I'm so concerned keeping my eyes that way. There's the Albert Hall. <laughs> and there was only about, about 200 people in, because it was, anyway, so I said, so basically, Mark, last time I was here, I showed my ass at the Albert Hall, right? So he said, do you know what? That would have been a better title for your book. I said, 